50 million pounds of investment to make plastic components for electronics instead of the usual silicon. Our correspondent David Shukman took a peek into the future. The silicon chip beats at the heart of our electronic lives, but it may now be under threat. From a small lab in Cambridge today came an announcement that's shaking the computer industry worldwide. Because what's being made here could trigger the next industrial revolution. So this is an example of the flexible technology. This Meet an electronic book you can bend. Inside, the workings aren't made of the usual silicon. Instead, they're plastic. This technology. Well, this is one example. This is a flexible display which could hold and update all of the patient's records in a hospital, and it could be easily attached to the wrist like this. Plastic electronics are cheaper and lighter than silicon and may take over. The mood in the company at the moment is incredible. Everyone is incredibly excited about the opportunity to change the world. In 10 to 20 years' time, every electronic component that you have could be replaced, the silicon could be replaced by plastic. The vision is for a future of plastic electronics, creating opportunities that even now feel a bit like science fiction. First, flexible plastic displays on mobiles and e-books, less fragile than the heavy glass screens we have now, and in the shops the Christmas after next. Then, take medicine, for example, the labels on the bottles telling you when to take it or on food packaging, where the price is adjusted by remote control. Beyond that, plastic sensors woven into clothing, maybe to monitor your health by keeping track of your temperature. And then, 10 or 20 years away, plastic chips so small, so light, so cheap, they could even fit inside contact lenses and beam the internet straight to you. Silicon microchips have transformed our world. Plastic could take it even further. Well, we could have uh, sofas, for instance, in, in which the cushions are actually switches. Um, that they could be used to activate uh, the television set. You could change the channel by touching certain little patterns on the cushions, for instance. Could be a problem with a cat jumping on it. Um, the curtains, for instance, could uh, glow certain colours when, when somebody you know is approaching the front door. You could program it to do that. Too weird to be true? Well, maybe not, because hot on the heels of these Cambridge pioneers are the giants of the electronics industry, also pursuing the holy grail of a plastic microchip. Suddenly, it's within sight. David Shukman, BBC News. Well, that's just about it. We'll be back with another Best of the Ten next week. Bye for now.